Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you one of my favorite masks that I absolutely love to do. And if you follow me, you know I love masking. I love mud masking, sheet masking, any kind of masking. I know it may seem excessive, but I do mask every day. My skin has benefited from it and it's just the time for me to, you know, kind of wind down a little bit reflect and, and just relax and just enjoy. Now the mask that I'll be showing you today is by May Lindstrom. It is an indie line, a natural skincare line, a luxury line. Uh, she uses all organic products, cruelty free, gluten free, and vegan, except for one product. There's one product, actually what I'm going to show you now is, and it's made with raw honey, so that's not vegan. You know, I just wanted to show you one of my favorite masks that I like to do. I am not sponsored by her. I bought all these products with my own money. I just wanted to, to show you what, what my favorite mask is. Now, I'll be showing you two products today. And these two products you can mask separately or you could even combine them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two together. But I'll show them to you individually. And the first one is the Clean Dirt, and it is the Brightening Exfoliant Treatment. It comes in a, you know, in a pretty black jar container, and it comes in a powder. So what's nice about this one that because it comes in a powder, and it's activated by water, so it pretty much will stay fresh until it's activated by water. I hope that makes sense. And let me show you here. You know, just a light, light brown powder. I'm going to put that in my jar. I don't want to waste it. And let me read to you what, what she says about it. It is an energizing blend of cleansing clays, warming spices, and restorative salts that lifts impurities while a surge of H2O activated vitamin C encourages cellular rejuvenation and undeniable luminosity. Now let me read you some of the ingredients that are in here. And it's all organic. It has white halocyte clay, it has a red Moroccan clay, it has sea salt, it has uh, vitamin C, it has marshmallow root, pink rose, calendula, it has cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, turmeric, ginger, and cacao. And it just smells, oh, it just smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Now you can use this product by, by itself. You just use one teaspoon of the product to almost one teaspoon of water. You mix it together and you'll apply it to your face. And I like to apply it with like a foundation brush. And just let it sit for a good 30 minutes. It's a drying mask, so it'll dry, dry down. And then just rinse off and your skin will just, will just look brighter. Now the other mask that I'm going to be using is called the Honey Mud. And this is a gentle enzyme cleanse and mask, the Honey Mud. And this one she uses raw honey. And you know, the smell, oh my gosh. The smell alone. I wish you guys can smell this. Mm -mm -mm. Here's what the product looks like. You know, I've used half of it already. It's kind of like a pudding mixture. Now the Honey Mud can be used as a cleanser or a mask. And honestly, I've only used it as a mask. I haven't used it as a cleanser, so I don't know how it would work, how it would do. Plus, as a cleanser, in general, it, the product usually doesn't stay long on your face. And with this Honey Mud, I want this to stay on my face for a long time while I want this to be on my face <laughs> because it, it feels so good. It smells so good. It just, mm. okay. Smell again. Oh, okay. Now let me read to you what it says on her website about the honey mud. It is an exquisitely distinctive union of raw honey, white halicide clay, and aromic pure plant oils, Mary, to envelope you in a truly intoxicating and highly addictive cleansing ritual. The silken pudding light treat gently frees you of the day's pollutants, infusing your skin with active enzymes and nourishment while restoring your optimum 
hydration and individual rhythm. Mm, 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 mm. Let me read to you some of the ingredients that are in here. It has raw honey, that's the very first ingredient, raw honey with bee pollen and propolis, white halicid clay, macadamia nut oil, oh, yes, rich hazel, uh, orange, cacao, vanilla, uh, cedar wood, myrrh, oh gosh, honestly, I really wish you could smell this, guys. Mm. And, you know, you can use this as a cleanse or as a mask. And as a mask, I'll put it on my face and just let it sit for about a good 20 minutes. And when I rinse this one off in the sink, I'll just put some, you know, cup some water in my hand and just put some on my face and it just melts away. It just, and the, the aroma that's from it, mm. now let's put this mask on. I am ready for this mask to get on my face. I follow her on Instagram and she said that we can put these two together and so I wanted to try it and I did and this is my favorite way of masking with these two products. I still use them separately on occasion but this one once a week I really I, I think ahead okay I'm, I think on this day I'm going to use this product I'm going to mask with this product that's how much I really enjoy this product. I'm not sponsored by her I bought these products with my own money I just wanted, you know, to share with you guys my favorite mask. Now the products that I have here is I have a little mixing cup, a mixing spoon, a teaspoon, an old foundation brush, and a little scooper, and some water. All right, now what I'll get is one teaspoon of the clean dirt. Okay, I'm pouring it in here. It's, it's kind of hard to do it in when the product is in this container. I do wish that it could have been you know, like in a jar, like with the honey mud, but I'm still going to use it. <laughs> I'm still going to use it. All right, here's one teaspoon of it. I'm going to level it out. Okay, here's one teaspoon of it. Now I'll use the scoop to scoop out the honey because I don't want to use the teaspoon because I feel like I'll lose some of the product or I'll waste some of the product in there. So I'll get the scoop and just kind of eyeball it. One teaspoon. I think that looks like about one teaspoon, right? Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> more is better. All right. And I'll just put clean the spatula on my face. I don't want to waste any of this product. <laughs> and then one half teaspoon. Did I say that right? And half a teaspoon of water. Just a half a teaspoon. Let me get that in here. There's the water. And I poured it in there. Then I'll get my old foundation brush. And this is just an old Bobbi Brown foundation brush. And I'll mix the products together. And it just, these two products together, ugh. Oh. And it will be into like a, a mousse type consistency. I don't know if you can see that. But that's the consistency that it becomes. All right. It's all mixed. And there's the consistency. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now let's put this on. And my face is clean. Oh, there we go. All right, I used every single drop of this product. Make sure, and I'll just bring it on down here. All righty, uh, it's on. And what time is it now? It is 9.02. And I'll probably, I'll probably leave this on for about a good 30 to 45 minutes, and I will check back with you after that to let, let you see what it looks like after after it's set on my face. All right, now I'm gonna just enjoy, probably put some clothes in the laundry and 
and whatnot, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and it is now 9.37. Had this mask on for over 30 minutes and as you can see, it didn't dry down completely because of the honey, all that moisture in there. Just kind of kept it moist in, on my skin. I mean, you can kind of see it's still kind of come off. So it didn't dry down completely. Mm. Okay, I'm going to hop in the shower now and rinse it off. And I do like to rinse it off in the shower because the steam from the shower, I feel that it just invigorates me with, this, with the aroma of it. And again, I'll cut my hands and put some water in there and just, just gently rub it on my face. And because of the clean dirt, it is an exfoliant. So I'll exfoliate my, my face while I'm in the shower. I will be right back. All right. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> I just got out of the shower and the steam from the shower with my moist hands and just rubbing on my face. It's, it's, it's like a spa experience in there for me. And my face, it, it has brightened up and it feels very hydrated. And that's one of the reasons why I love this mask. It just, first the spa experience and what it does to my skin. So yes, I will be doing this mask once a week for as long as I can. Now, about the May Lindstrom brand, she does make her products fresh. She makes them in small quantities and it's all done by hand and that's what I really like about this one. And on on every product that she has, she'll put a sticker and it will tell you where, or not where, but when it was made. So like on the clean dirt, it says it was made fresh June of 2017. And this is my second bottle of this and it's probably just like right here, I believe. Maybe, yeah, right here. And on the Honey Mud, this one, also my second jar. And this one was, I believe, in February. This one I didn't buy from her website. I bought it from Barney's. And I bought it during the summer. And as you can see, it's, it's halfway there. And I don't think I mentioned the price. And the price for the Clean Dirt is $70 and you do get 6.76 ounce and the honey mud is $90 and you get 3.38 ounce and you could buy it from the May Lindstrom website or from beautylish.com when you buy it from May Lindstrom you also get two free samples and the free samples that I bought are her youth do and the blue cocoon and I'm going to put that on my face right now and the youth do, I have a full size bottle, but I'm almost finished with this, but I just wanted to show you the sample size of it. It's a serum and it has 20 oils in there, I believe. Let me read you the oils that she has in here. The first ingredient is avocado oil, olive oil, plum kernel, rose hip seed, which I love, pomegranate, evening primrose, geranium, grapefruit, orange, lemon, Rose Absolute, Bulgarian Rose, Carrot Seed, and the last ingredient is CoQ10. So with the Youth Dew, I'll just put like three or four drops. And I'll just press that on my face and... Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more. I would love a little bit more. And just pat it on my face. It just... Mm. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and the Youth Do It, what she has on her website, the Joyously Over the Top Hydration Potion Transforms Skin with the Power Packed Bouquet of 20 Regenerating and Indulgent Plant and Botanical Oils Infused with Time Stopping CoQ10. And I use this one whenever I do my masking with May Lindstrom. It just makes my skin feel so good and hydrated and it doesn't look oily on my skin. And the price of this one, if you get the regular size, it is, it is a luxury brand. It is $140. 
That's why when I get the mud mask and the honey mud, I always like to get a couple of samples. You know, it, will, it won't last you as much as the regular size, but it's a good way to try it. And if you like it, you can get the regular size. If you don't, no harm, no foul. Now then after the youth do, I like to put her blue cocoon. The blue cocoon. And as you can see, it is blue. Now let me read you what on her website what this says. Our balmy blue enchantress greets your skin with cool serenity. Melting on touch to a fluid potion, this tenderly envelopes you in the most decadent azul calm. Mystical blue tansy eases feelings of emotional anxiety while releasing heat and providing nourishment and relief to even the most delicate and troubled skin. And the ingredients that this has is camilla oil, shea butter, blue tansy, myrrh, lavender, frankincense. I really wish that you could smell this, guys. Again, this is the sample size. Now, the full size of this one, this is $180. But, again, this is the sample size. And it's, you know, I've used this maybe for a couple of months. And I still have a good amount in there. And if you like it, you know, you can get the bigger size. If not, you know, stay with the sample size. And what I like to get is just get a half pea size. Like so. Of course, it's got that blue tansy in there for to uh, calm your skin down from with inflammatory issues. And then, and then just press it in. Hmm. And the smell of this, oh my goodness. Now again, I was not sponsored by Maylandstrom. I really enjoy her products. I like what she has done. It is a luxury skincare brand and she uses all natural and organic products. And I really enjoy her mask. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'll link all the products that I use down below and I really appreciate you guys watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button also so you can see more videos and thank you for experiencing this mask with me today and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.